So the next step is going to be to fix this uh, currency thing because right now we are just converting it to string and showing and it's not something very good. It has an extra decimal even though we don't need it, it doesn't have a currency, etc. So under my uh, helper folder, I'm going to go to downloads, command N, uh, Swift file, click next. And here I'm going to create a file that is going to be holding some global functions that we are going to use throughout our application. So I'm going to call this helper functions. And we are going to have one function here for now, uh, func convert to currency. And we're going to take a number, which is our uh, value in our case. This is going to be a double. And we're going to return a string because this is what we are going to display to our users. So once we have this number, which is double in our case, we want to get the number formatter. So we say let currency formatter is equals to number formatter and we are going to instantiate this and then we are going to set some parameters so say currency formatter dot uses grouping separator is equals to true then we say uh, currency formatter dot number style is equals currency and we are going to say currency formatter dot local is equals to local dot current so basically it will get from the device uh, location currency then we say let price string is equals to currency formatter dot string from uh, number which is ns number in our case and we're going to create an ns number with value as a double and we're going to pass our number here and we need to unwrap this and then we can say return price string or instead we can just make it short and just return this and get rid of this line so um, have a look how it looks now and once we use our function here I'm going to get rid of this and say uh, convert to currency oh, it's just command P to get it access to it to currency and I'm going to pass my uh, item dot price and let's rerun and this time we're going to say a really nice formatted price here but this one is quite big um, what we're going to do is also to change the size of it so I'm going to write one more line here for our price label dot adjust uh, font size to fit width is equals to true so this will uh, dynamically adjust the font to fit our label size because sometimes the price is going to be bigger than we can actually fit in our label let's quickly see if it works and we have $150, $5,000 and $12,000 here so the formatting is nicely done and we can, can see that 12,000 is a kind of a bit smaller than the other two numbers because it has more digits inside to display so um, this is it for this lecture we just fixed our currency added our currency converter so we can use this actually throughout our course uh, because uh, we're not going to use this in more than one place